Hey guys, Brad with Family Handyman. So for the homeowner market, battery powered chainsaws have really been taking over because they're so convenient. You don't have to mix gas or deal with any of that stuff. So I've got six different models here that I'm gonna try out. I'm gonna put them through their paces today and I just wanna see how long do the batteries last? How good do these things cut? Do they have enough power? So let's get started. While these saws can't go toe to toe with gas powered chainsaws when it comes to runtime and power, they'll do the job for most homeowners. And for many people, their advantages, no hard to start two cycle engine, no mixing gas and oil, no fouled spark plugs, make up for any shortcomings. All right, so we're ready to get going. Gotta make sure we have all our safety gear. Got a face shield with ear protection, safety gloves, and chainsaw safety chaps. And we'll start out with the Ryobi. First, run time. Cutting through a 16 inch diameter log. Second, cutting through eight inch logs. Work that's more typical for the average homeowner. Next, we tested battery charging time. Most battery charges won't keep up with their saw's run time. For any battery powered saw, you'll want an extra battery or two if your work requires extended use and not just trimming a few branches. The Ryobi saw comes in at a nice price from a reputable company. I own an older 14 inch version, which I bought because I have other tools on the same battery platform. Though the runtime is a bit shorter than some, I've been completely satisfied with mine and have sliced up some very large logs with it. This Greenworks saw comes in at a competitive price with strong performance and runtime. The 18 inch bar is nice if you're actually felling trees. This Echo saw is an older model that we've had for a few years. It's discontinued. Newer ones do out in the spring, but it wasn't available for our test. So based on this older model's performance, I'm expecting good things from the new one. The Makita saw really stood out for me, ticking all the right boxes. Lightweight, fast cutting, long run time, metal bucking spikes, and at a reasonable price from a well-respected manufacturer. Next, we've got the Ego Saw. It's another one with an 18-inch bar, long run time, and a competitive price, and it's a strong performer. Next, we have the Saw from Works. The only detractor for this saw for me was the lack of metal bucking spikes. Instead, it had plastic ridges molded into the housing. Aside from that, it's a super strong performer at a great price. Now, the battery runtime for these saws did surprise me. I expected it to be longer. But for our test, it was constant cutting with the trigger held down the whole time. A more typical scenario for a homeowner might be limbing a downed tree, for example, in which case nine minutes of actual cutting time, or even four, takes off a lot of limbs. Also, I should note that when we cut those 16-inch diameter logs, the air temperature was 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's tough on lithium ion batteries. For the amount of chainsawing I do, I'd still opt for battery over gas. But which saw is best? For me, the Makita stood out as having a comparatively long running time and lightweight, and it cut quickly and aggressively. It has a balanced feel and metal bucking spikes that protrude well beyond the saw's housing. It eases the work and makes it safer as well. Makita's tool-free chain tension adjustment, a feature three of the other saws have, is really nice as well. Generally, all of these battery saws performed really well, and for a homeowner, occasional user, I think they're perfect. You know, you're not gonna go cut down an entire forest with them. For more tips and tool reviews, visit us at familyhandyman.com.